We're in today with the 7900 GTO. This is a 2006 video card with 512 megabytes of uh, VRAM GDDR3. It's got 650 megahertz on the core clock and 660 megahertz on the memory clock. 256 bits bus width and DirectX 9 support. And we're going to pair it up with this uh, Intel Core to extreme qx 6850 with four cores and four threads and we're gonna jump in a couple of games and see how this uh, whole system is holding all right let's start with underground because this is gonna be very interesting um i think i have the last resolution 1024 with maximum details you can uh, increase the resolution if you want but i'm gonna keep it here because uh, it feels like a uh, retro resolution for my uh, hardware 1024 i'm gonna see if uh, the other games are required uh, uh, to stay here or just jump in a couple of more uh, uh, numbers in order to see if I can uh, feed up this uh, GPU. I don't know, it's lagging, it's not lagging, it's holding, it's not holding. The only thing I can see here is on 92% load on the core and I think it's maximum. But if I go over that, then I'll get lower FPS and it's not worth it, you know. So I, I want to uh, how should I say, a good MS in this situation. I can see the MS, but uh, it feels very fluent. In this case, uh, it's not utilizing too much VRAM, nearly 100 megabytes of VRAM from 500 uh, megabytes uh, available on this video card. I mean, this video card, it's, uh, it looks like a GTX, but it's not a GTX, it's a GTO. This uh, 300 miles, let's see how it's running in a race. Is this sliding or racing? Oh, this is racing. I like the temperature on the video card, uh, considering how old is the video card, it's uh, doing a fantastic job. You can actually see that if it's not in, in the real world, uh, the core is not... Uh, fully loaded and i like it because i think in the race in the race it's working even better it's got lower um, lower numbers you know on lower fps but uh, it's a uh, kind of good overall uh, performance you know from the video card v vram is not fully loaded i think this is exactly what i need from a from a from a video card you know the gpu is doing the job the system is doing the job what do you need more seriously but if we are jumping in most wanted i think it's gonna be very interesting because here you can actually see on 1024 with uh, maximum details uh, i think uh, we're gonna look uh, really nice seriously this is gonna be very interesting because the game is working it's doing the job, it's utilizing the GPU and uh, it gives me some really nice uh, performance. And I'm not gonna lie, this is freaking awesome to, under, to, to see this uh, game running like this. I mean, it's a 7900 GTO, you know, so it's, it's got every single, um, how should I say, spec on the paper that is uh, allowing this video card to be qualified to push this game to the maximum, you know. I think this is exactly what I need from a video card like this. You know, it's utilizing the GPU, nearly 80% load on the core, 52 degrees, you know, with no stress. So the, the frame, ooh. it's utilizing the VRAM. I mean, not at maximum, you know, it's got 500 megabytes of VRAM. And uh, I think uh, in, you can actually see that uh, it's trying to do the job properly, you know, 150, nearly 150 megabytes uh, of uh, VRAM. You know, you can actually see that it's reaching uh, that number. I like it. I like how it's working. But in some cases, you can see that it's uh, utilizing the core too. In driver, apparently with 1080p, comparing it to the previous games, I think I have the chance to actually put it out to 1080p and uh, maximum details. Now in this game with uh, this amount of uh, details and the resolution you can actually see that the GPU is doing a fantastic job even though it's not utilizing that uh, amount of VRAM but it looks fantastic it looks very GTA 3. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> seriously I think this is one of those situations that uh, uh, yeah it's it's gonna be very interesting uh, overall experience you know I can utilize this video card and uh, I can play this game with this. Do I like how it works? Do I like uh, how it looks? I like how it looks because it feels very retro-ish <laughs> and uh, the GPU is ac actually perfect. Even though the core is maxed out, we need to actually see how it's running in crisis because I placed uh, the game on 1080p and I'm actually curious how it's performing here. Seriously, look. 
this is the right number this is exactly what i need from this and uh, we're gonna see how it's performing with low details and uh, 1080p this is gonna be very interesting because it looks really nice and this uh, 7900 is gonna perform really well even though the core is maxed out you can actually see on low details it's got nearly 200 megabytes of vram utilized so i would say this is uh, excellent performance you can actually see here with smoke you get uh, 20 30 fps 28 fps with uh, uh, higher ms like 46 50 ms with them it's very laggy near the fume you know so i won't stay in the fumes too much but uh, there is options here in order to how should i say adjust the game in such a way the temperature is good uh Mm, the MS is not pretty, you know, but you can actually see the CPU is starting to do something in nearly here, reaching 50% load, you know, but the moment I put myself near the fumes, it's uh, dropping too much, seriously. But uh, if I go away from there, you can actually see that the FPS starts to be better. But if we are jumping into Gothic and um, take uh, this game with 1080p and medium details, you can actually see that uh, it's doing a fantastic job with... Uh, 40 70 fps i think uh, enough team fight is going to get uh, even uh, lower but i will say you know what i will take it because it's adjustable you know it offers you that uh, opportunity to as i say play the game and uh, adjust it in such a way that you can uh, uh, have a nice uh, performance i think in some cases you can uh, see that uh, the gp is dropping below 60 fps but uh, i will take it uh, as a good sign because uh, it offers offers me the possibility to play the game with uh, this video card. It's using only 200, so half of the VRAM it's utilized, but the core is maxed out, but it's holding the FPS. I'm 100% sure that if you want uh, to better FPS and no stutter, it would be ideal to have uh, the details on low. But if we're jumping in stalker and we're gonna use uh, maximum details with 1080p with static light, it's gonna be very interesting because uh, it's uh, actually working seriously i like the performance here let's see how it's working with uh, uh, with some uh, texture around us some bushes you know in some cases I actually see that uh, the performance is not bad in some cases but in some cases it's dropping below 60 fps and it scares me you know but it's using the gpu it's using m more than uh, more than nearly half of the vram it's using in this, in this case Damn, you ugly bastard. Come on, you coming back? Come on. Come on, you little running bacon. Okay, that's it. I was expecting some bacon from you. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's working. Look at this. Uh, nice FPS. 30. It's minimal. Damn, interesting. Very interesting to see this performance. The CPU, on the other hand, you can actually see it's only utilizing one core and it's uh, not okay because uh, you want, in some cases, more FPS. What the f is that? But if we are jumping into Galaxy on Fire, apparently with uh, this video card is going to be no problem. Uh, I maxed it out on 1080p with uh, maximum details and you can actually see the GPU is doing a fantastic job. But with MSI Afterburner, it's locked. It's a good thing because uh, in some cases you can, um, how shall I say, you don't need more. But at the same time, I can see that the core is not fully utilized, only 30-40% load on the core, 48 degrees, and uh, half of the VRAM it's used. I, I will say this is perfect in my case. Half a gig of uh, system RAM utilized and the CPU, on the other hand, it's using only the first core. I like the performance overall. It looks and it works really nice with uh, this game, seriously. Come on, can I break this boulder? Come on, come on. Yes, that's it. So I think this type of video card is going to be very hard to find in the future. I think uh, an overall performance is uh, kind of great, but I cannot justify a video card like this. The only problem I have is the prices that are being, um, how shall I say, tagged. You know, because an old uh, 7 series video card, it's not very cheap nowadays to find. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what's what's going on, but uh, they're not cheap, you know. The Go 7, 800 uh, GTX or a 7, 900, you know, uh, it's not, it's not okay. If you really want to play some uh, old uh, games, I think it will be ideal to uh, look for a video card that is cheaper. I like the video card. I like this uh, idea of a 2006 video 
card, but I cannot justify the price on uh, retro hardware like this. You know, ideal would be to have them cheap. You know, but if you can find them cheap, very nice because it, they are, uh, I shall say, a piece of um, old times. If it makes any sense, <laughs> you can go in time. It's like it feels like a time machine. You know, with this uh, GPU. That's it. I can say nothing uh, bad about it because it done the job uh, perfectly, and I like the performance from this video card. And uh, like I said. It's worth it if you can find it cheap. Aside from that, no. <laughs> if you have any suggestion, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.